In this video, we are going to discuss about program comments. So, what is a comment? Comment is any expression in the program that is not compiled. It is just written as part of the program, as a note to the programmer or anyone else who is reading the program later. The comments generally start with a for two forward slash or a forward slash and a star mark. Let's take an example to see how a comment would look like. As you can see here, all the lines that are highlighted in green, they are the comments. All term to fees head inserted in voucher table. This is a comment that is at the end of the previous function block. So, this is telling the reader or the programmer who has written it that what has already been done. Take this example of the comment total payable fees for this month as per monthly and annual fee schedule. This tells the programmer or the reader that in this statement what is being done or code for getting previous fees due to be added. So this following set of statements is doing this function which has been mentioned here. So this is how you can give comments. Let's look at what places you can give comments. Comments can be inserted as prologue to the program to explain its objective. Before you start writing the program, you just write that this program is doing so and so things. This is the problem. This is the solution that we are offering. Or you can write at the beginning or end of a logical or functional block just to tell the reader or remind the programmer himself that what has been done. Or it can make note about special scenarios or exceptions. If you feel that something special has been dealt with in the program or some cases have been left out, you can add a comment so that you are reminded of it later. Avoid adding superfluous comments as that may prove counterproductive. What does that mean? That means that if the expression is self-explanatory, you don't need to add comments. It is not that you have to add comment for each statement. Compiler may ignore comments and indentations, but the reader tends to read each one of them. The comments are for readers. So if you add too many comments, then the reader will find it difficult to read the program and understand it at one go because his attention will be diverted by the comments. So this is how you should write the comments and how you should not write the comments. In the next video, we are going to discuss about indenting our program.